What is up guys, BKRTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a logo tutorial, hopefully the first of many, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create 3D looking text. Anyone who's seen logos I've made, be it on YouTube banners or logos for the WWE games, I like to use well 3D, almost metallic or block looking text. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. For other people, they do it differently, but this is how I do it. It works for me. So I've got my canvas here, 512 by 512, and I'm going to go to the text tool. For anyone who wants to know what my program I'm using is, it's Affinity Designer. It was originally for Mac. It's now available for Windows. By all means, check out. It's a really good program. So I'm going to just drag it a little bit there. So the text tool, I've dragged it. So I'm just going to type in, say, oh, let's just type in Baker. Just gonna quickly align it now onto the effects I'm just gonna make it red for now just for the sake of so we can see it now the two effects I use are 3d and bevel slash emboss so I'm just gonna go to the cog the 3d effect I'm gonna turn on and put it all the way reason being this one doesn't make it 3d but by pulling it all the way if you look it's automatically shaded you got dark and you got light it's already shaded I don't have to do it so this is the tool that does it the bevel slash emboss so I've turned it on currently it's got the pillow type I do not like it I do not like pillow at all so I use either inner or emboss more likely inner and here's what I do that makes it more 3d like or just stands out better you can see these two are locked so if I was to go up and down they both go with each other. If you unlock it and set the radius to say one and then make this one whatever you want, as you can see, it stays 3D but it stays flat, which is how I do it. So then I just make this a bit more straight. And there we go, there's a 3D looking text. I'm just gonna put up another, now let's go with this looking text. So you got that, make it white. And you see it's still shaded, it's 3D, and it looks really good. So yeah, that's been BKR TV. That's just been a quick little tutorial on how I create 3D looking text for logos and designs. Please like, favorite, subscribe for more logo tutorials. Hopefully I'm going to be doing a lot more in the future. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And peace.